Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here again today with another project for Hobby Hoppers. Today's project isn't as spooky as the rest will be, but I thought it would be a little bit cute and a little bit funny because I have been gone for so very long and I was really eager to play with this treat cart stamp set and its add-on. So let's get started with this project. As you can see, I've done the background a little bit different with this one. So what I have used is some tea dye and some pizza crust ink, and also my favorite black ink. The stamp sets that I'm using today are the treat card and of course the treat card add-on coffee. Coffee is my favorite thing in the whole world, so it was absolutely perfect that they brought this out. And in fact, this set is the reason that I purchased this set. This is adorable. I'd intended on purchasing it anyway, but getting the add-on oh, just totally made me need this set to play with as well. For my sentiment today, I dug through my lawn fawn stash going back a very long while and I found this one that had the sentiment, sorry I was. It says snappy, but I'm not going to use snappy. I'm just going to use sorry I was. And for the word flaky, I'm using my favorite die set. Now it has been a while since I've been crafting, so I've actually forgotten what the name of this one is and I haven't labeled it, but I will ensure that it is linked in the description box for this video, along with all the other products that I have used from Hobby Hoppers to create this. And as always, I'll be using my favorite large stitch rectangle for my background. Okay, so let's get started. I can't wait to show you how I made this one. Every time I try to record today, <laughs> one of the little dogs from our neighbors is having a good bark. So <laughs> I'll try to get these bits done quickly. This is where I got today's sentiment from. Sorry, I'm flaky. It's so small, so there isn't a big sentiment to play with. That's why I thought I would use the big dies and to just stamp the rest of it as well. Uh, this little croissant is obviously going to be a star, but before I stamp the background completely with that, I am going to just stamp a lot of these images directly onto the background, kind of going for a two-dimensional kind of faded background if that makes any sense at all. None of these things are going to be standing out as much as they would be if I were to do them in black or if I were to stamp them even in brown on white cardstock and then cut them out they would still have some dimension. I really want them all to be a bit of like just a faded part of the background while our little characters with their coffees and croissants are going to be the stars. So what I'm going to do here first is just play around with some placement of things because these letters are quite big I don't want them to um, not have space to stick them down. I know they're not in the right order. Clay apparently just how much space I'm going to need down the bottom. So I'm going to have to have these up fairly high. Uh, my little characters standing around there too and then I'm sorry I was flaky so I am just trying to make sure I've got all the space to do this. I'm actually tempted to turn my card this way, uh, which I know isn't a big deal to look at, but in my head I really had it set the other way, so I guess I'm going to have to just reset things in my mind. Flaky will fit quite nicely down the bottom. Actually, I feel like this is going to work far better. It just goes to show you that I do make up a lot of this as I go along. I am obsessed with this little sign. I feel like that is so cute. And if you're new here, then I guess you wouldn't know that I just go bananas over all the little things. I just love every little detail. All of these little foods are so cute. Like, that is ridiculous. I just love how small some of these things are. I just want to squeeze them. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get onto this background. I feel like if I put these around here and have my little characters standing in front of it, I'm still going to have plenty of room to put the rest of that sentiment. Okay, now that I've got that sorted, I can start stamping directly onto this background. So to start stamping, I'm going to be using the Pizza Crust ink. I feel like it will get a far uh, crisper look um, than the Distress Oxide. I will use this to blend the background. I just find them to be, I don't know, I guess far more creamy and blendable. I know you can blend with the Lawn Fawn inks, but I just feel like they are a bit more bold than, say, something else like that. So... Um, I'm going to use it for the main images on the background while I blend and blur things out, I guess, with the other one. Now, I'm just having a look at this and trying to pick one of these, but I've noticed none of them say well, croissant, which is fine. There is a little one that says pastries. I just don't know what else I'm going to put under it if I just do pastries and maybe just a little coffee cup or something. Um, really though, this is probably going to be covered by one of my little characters, so it's probably not necessary that I'm stamping this part, but you know me, I like my things to be detailed and very, very cute, and really, I just want to play with my new stamps, <laughs> so I'm going to put them there anyway. Oh my gosh, 
that one is so small and it wants to stick to my fingers more than it does to <laughs> the cardstock. Let's see if that is lined up properly. It probably isn't yet. Just gonna put my head in the way for a second. Okay, that is probably not going to be perfect, but like I said, it's probably gonna be covered anyway and I'm just having fun. Adorable. Too cute. Oh, I love that so much, it's so cute. Okay, next I'm going to just stamp some croissants all over the place. Um, I am not going to put it on my platform only because it's going to take so long to move it everywhere. So I am just using a very tiny little stamp block and I am just going to go um, everywhere in all angles, all directions, covering every little bit of this, I guess, because it is going to be our background. I can hear my stomach rumbling and I don't know <laughs> if it's because um, I'm looking at little croissants or if I'm about to miss lunchtime because I have been busy all morning with crafting so that I can bring you a whole bunch of crafty tutorials as we get closer to Halloween. I feel like something needs to be there but I'm not sure what it is yet. I'll see what other little things I can squeeze in. Try not to lose a finger with those magnets. Oh, I do love that. I feel like that is very, very cute. But I will just find something else little to put between. I might even get out some watercolors. I will just say, actually, even better, I will probably use some of this to fill in the gaps. We'll do that in just a minute. So what I have found is a very tiny little leaf that I think I will just stamp a couple of times to fill in some of those larger gaps so that they're not so obvious. And I am considering popping something in here as well. I could just do this part all day. It's always a lot of fun. Oh no, <gasps> that looks a bit messy, doesn't it? Maybe we are going to learn how to cover up mistakes today as well. Now I did want just one little thing up here. So I'm gonna pop the little coffee machine there and just hope that lines up nicely about there. And as you can see, these were done about an hour or so ago and they've lightened up a lot and that is the same color ink right there. So my background will become nice and light and I think it will go with this just a little bit better. And now all I'm gonna do with this is just rub around the edges a little bit just so that the background isn't so stark white. And then I'm going to add some flex just to fill in a little bit more of the space. bit of that tea dye distress oxide ink on my mat and I'm just adding a little bit of water to it and I'm going to flick it all over this to give it a little bit more texture to fill in some of those blanks too. Now that that is done I'm going to set this aside to dry while I stamp out our little characters. So what I've chosen here is a little bunny and a little fox and a couple of drinks. I'm sticking with a super simple color scheme today. Here are the Copics that I'll be using to color in these little cuties. While I'm coloring this in, I thought now would be the perfect time to talk about Hobby Hoppers. So if you don't know what Hobby Hoppers is, it is an online craft store based in Australia, in Melbourne. It is run by the owner Trish, who loves all things crafty, loves all things very cute as well, as I'm sure you would be able to see as soon as you hop on the website and check out what kind of brands Trish stocks. Lawn Fawn is obviously my favorite, so I use a lot of Lawn Fawn from Hobby Hoppers. It is where I get all my new release products from, as well as card making supplies, like card bases, my jelly roll pens that I use in every single one of my videos, watercolors that I often use for my backgrounds, 
and so many more things. As I said earlier, I will be leaving all the details for what I'm using today in the description below, as well as the details for the Hobby Hoppers website. Now I don't really know what colour to do this little fox, whether his body should be light and the tops of his head and tail should be darker or if it's the other way around. I am going to just have a guess. I have a feeling this might be the wrong way around, but I don't know, we'll work it out. Actually, I might do his tail this way. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll find out. Just to finish these off, I'm going to add some white highlights to give these characters just a little bit of dimension. Today I'm using my size 8. As you can see, my a little bit there so I am just adding also some white highlights to those areas to cover it up. I'm now going to fussy cut these out and get them ready for the card front. Before I go any further and add my characters on the front and the sentiment I'm going to add some double sided tape to the back. So now we're going to play around with stamping that sentiment. First, I might stick down my letters so that I know exactly where I need to place it. So now I know exactly where that is, which I've mostly done off, <laughs> off screen, of course. Why not? Um, I'm going to add this part of the sentiment that says, sorry, I was. Now it is attached to another word, so I just have to be a little careful with my placement. Knowing me, I'm probably not going to get it centered, but <laughs> we can always give it a try. I think around there looks okay. Okay, we're just going to hope for the best with this one, I think, because I'm having trouble lining it up. So I've only added ink to... The part that I need and there we go I'm going to keep it like that I'm not going to risk it by doing another layer of ink okay now we are ready to start assembling this card don't quite know where to put these maybe one oh I gotta commit <laughs> I'll put him here I won't push him down too much yet though just in case I change my mind put this little guy over here yeah, so there's enough room for their coffees between them and then let's try to get these in their hands cute very cute now I am just having a look and I'm wondering should I move them down just a little bit and I think I should so I'm very glad I didn't push them down too far oh did I oh no I'm okay I'm okay <laughs> oh the panic Okay, can we set him up there? And this little guy down here. I think that looks a little better. What do you think? A bit lower? Maybe a little closer together? Oh my gosh, I always get these stuck on my fingers. Sorry, I was flaky. Let's have a look. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> not just on my fingers okay oh my gosh I'm thinking that's a little bit cute let me have a look I like it what do you think I 
I think that turned out pretty good. That is the second card of this little spooky series that I'm doing for Hobby Hoppers. I know it's not the spookiest card, but I thought that sentiment was just too cute not to play with. And you know what? We're not done. What am I talking about? I've still got one more job to do. I'm going to add some white highlights to these letters before we call it a day. I'm all out of practice, obviously. There we go, now we are done. I would love to know in the comments of what you think of this card. I think it is very, very cute. I think I'm happy with the placement of those little critters. You'll find out when you see the proper photos of it if I did decide to change the placement once again, but I'm very happy with the background. I think it's very cute. And this stamp set is just adorable and so much fun to play with. All the links to the products that I used today will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see what I make next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.